So the vignette effect can be used to, to sort of burn or lighten the edges of our picture here, but it's not immediately obvious how you would use it. Um, so let's take a cool strong effect here. And we're going to have to add in another few of these nodes. This might seem complicated the first time you do it, but it'll be a fairly straightforward process for you after, after using it a couple of times. So I'm just going to double click on vignette and to add our vignette in here. And we can come into our parameters again here. Um, so we can scale it up using scale. We can change the aspect of it using aspect, of course. Our angle we're going to leave unchanged in this case to, to zero. And softness gives it a bit of a blur. So let's um, bring this in here. So now in our little preview window over here, we can sort of see what the vignette's going to do. It's sort of darkening and desaturating the areas around the, uh, the corners of our of our picture. Now that might be what you want to do, but in this case it's not. So I'm, I'm going to show you how we can uh, we can make it a bit more flexible. So we're going to use two other filters. We're going to use the Alpha Blend. So let's just bring that in here. And we're going to use the Exposure. So the Blend effect has two source inputs as we saw earlier. Now the Alpha Blend works in a slightly different way. We've got three inputs. It's got Source 1, Source 2, and Alpha. So what it's going to do is it's going to blend two sources together using a mat that we create or that we feed into it in the alpha channel here. So in this case our alpha channel is created using the vignette command. So if I'm just going to dump that in there and if I click on alpha blend, in fact let's just double click on alpha blend here and you'll see that it turns yellow. So this means that whatever other node we look at here it's always going to be showing us the output of the alpha blend. Um, if we didn't have that, then the picture would change depending on which node we clicked on. So we'll just double click on Alpha Blend. So I'm going to feed the exposure into the Source 2 of Alpha Blend 2. So just by clicking and dragging that in there, and that created that little link for us here. So now I can take the exposure down. Let's take it down quite far. So you can see it's darkening the image in all the areas apart from the bits we specified in the vignette. So this is the exact opposite of what we want to do. We want to darken the outer areas rather than the inside bit here. So let's click on the vignette and click on invert. And nothing happens. It's actually a little bug in color, which means that this isn't inverting. So not to worry, because down here in our effects, we've got another little thing called invert. So if I drag that over here and drag it onto the line between vignette and alpha blend, and it turns up blue. When it turns up blue, let go, and it creates links in between there. So now we can come to our exposure, we can drop it all the way down, you can really see what's happening. In fact, in this case, what I want to do is I want to, is I want to blend these out a little bit here. So I want to wipe these out, so I'm going to take the exposure up instead. Okay, so so far so good. And I'm just going to double click on the outside here, just so that we see our final picture. So our final output, is still the film wash output here. It's not been affected by a vignette at all. And that's because we can only have one output. And the output here is still going through this tree down here. So what we need to do is we need to reroute this little bit. So if I reroute the output of our final blend to both the input of the exposure and the input of Alpha Blend 2, then take the output of Alpha Blend 2 into film grain. Let's just move those and show you what's going on. There we go. So now you can see we've rerouted our little flow down here and we've created our little vignette effect in addition to the other film wash color effect. And we can still come in and we can still play around with our film grain if we need to. And now we're ready just to render it out. So thanks again for watching this. And if you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to come to CuriousTurtle.com and send us an email. Thanks a lot.